hello friends today we will show you in chapter number 6 robot work cell layout as well as consideration in robot work cell design then work cell control and human machine interface used in robot cell controller so in that uh, robot work cell and programming so before that in that chapter number 4 or in that chapter number 3 we already discussed the application of industrial robot in manufacturing sector as well as production sector then uh, different kinematics used in robotics like forward kinematics and inverse kinematics exactly difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics or uh, derivation of forward kinematics of 2 degrees of freedom robot then forward kinematics of 3 degrees of freedom robot and inverse kinematics of 2 degrees of freedom robot and uh, how you can solve such type of problems related to kinematics and uh, or in forward kinematics as well inverse kinematics then uh, a transformation or concept of transformation used in computer graphics or robot or robotics so uh, there are different four transformation like translation rotation scaling and a reflection then a problem related to transformation means rotation rotation case or translation rotation case or multiplication of both matrices or how you can directly find out the rotation homogeneous rotation matrix or homogeneous rotation vector of robot reference frame so in this uh, chapter number six uh, we will discuss the robot work cell or robot work cell layout then consideration in robot work cell design work cell control cell safety then uh, machine or human interface robot cell controller lead through programming then walk through program so these are the different unit contents so first in our uh, first unit content robot cell layout so what are the different types of layouts used in robotics or robot work cell then second consideration in work cell design what are the different parameters uh, or consideration in work cell design then work cell control then cell safety human machine interface then uh, robot cell controller then lead through programming walk through programming and online programming means difference between lead through programming walk through programming and online programming so these are the different unit contents of chapter number six so first unit content or first syllabus point is robot cell layout so in that robotics or in that robot work cell the industrial robot generally work with other piece of equipment so these pieces of equipment include conveyors and uh, production machines then uh, pictures and tools the robot and the robot and associated equipments from the work cell the term workstation or machine station or workstation can be also used but uh, this term generally limited by means of work cell design with with the single robot or multiple robots so basically uh, two of the problems in robot application or engineering uh, physical design of the work cell then physical uh, design of control system which will be co coordinate with activities among the various components of the cell so in this chapter uh, these two problems of areas are considered in an important way and these topics bring together many technology as well as uh, programming topics in the uh, previous section or sessions of the lecture so first is the robot cell layout so robot a robot and its associated equipments from the basic robot work cell so sometimes human worker can be also included in the work cell to perform tasks that are not easily automated. These tasks may consist of inspection operation or operations that requires judgment of the sense of touch 
that robot do possesses two aspect arise in the robot specification or robot application in industrial production line so one uh, related to the uh, design of work robot work cell which may consist of more than one robot and more than one machine or second the other related to control system uh, that will be coordinate activities among various component of the work cell so work cell or robot work cell step of the com company to implement a robotic program in its operation so initially uh, familiarization with the technology or robot cell layout plant survey to identical potential applications then selection of applications then uh, selection of robot then detailed economic analysis and capital authentication so robot cell layout so robot work cell can be organized into various arrangements or layouts so these layouts can be classified into three basic types so first is the robot centered cell then second inline robot cell and third mobile mobile robot cell <coughs> so consideration in work cell design so what are the different consideration parameters or considerations involved in robot work cell design or robot work cell design so first is the modification or modification to other equipment in the cell or change to equipment in the cell so there are several other issues uh, that must be considered in the design of work cell among these considerations so first is the modification to the other equipment in the cell to implement the work cell and interface of the robot to the other equipment in the cell alternation will often have to made uh, equipment specially fixtures and control devices must be devised to permit the cell operator as a single or integrated mechanism example of this fixtures and control included work holding as well as uh, material holding devices then nest or conveyor stops the position and orientation of the parts of the robot change the machines or uh, change the machines to allow the robot arm to gain the access of the equipment and limit switches or uh, different types of ladder diagrams and other devices to interface the various components on the cell so modification or uh, changes to other equipments in the cell so this is the first consideration in work cell design change to other equipments in the cell then second one part position and orientation so for uh, raw work work part or for raw workplaces or work pieces been delivered into the cell it is important that the robot have a precise pickup location to get the parts from the conveyor or other work handling system at this pickup point the parts must be known orientation means uh, for pickup point we know or we already know the position exactly position and orientation of uh, work part to enable the robot to grasp and hold it consistently and accurately during subsequent processing within the cell so this part orientation or this part identification should be or should not be lost a method to achieving this objective of the part position and orientation must be designed into work cell so part positioning and orientation is the important parameter while the uh, design of work cell then a uh, third third is the part identification problem so in cell where more than one type of part is processed for the assembled a method of identifying the particular part or particular part type must be determined this can be done by any of the number of automated means of involving optical techniques 
or limit switches to sense difference in size of the geometry then fourth one is the protect of the robot from its environment or protection of the robot from its environment so in certain type of applications uh, for example spray painting robot as well as a uh, hot material operation robot or uh, hot material handling robots uh, a means of uh, protection of the robot from the adverse effect of its environment must be provided is protection of robot from its environment then uh, next is the utilities so providing necessary utilities for example electricity or uh, air pressure or gas for furnace etc must be included among the factors considered in the design of the work cell layout and last consideration in the work cell design is control of work cell or second last is the control of the work cell so, and the activities of the robot must be coordinate with those of the or those of the object or the equipments in the cell so this subject is referred to by term uh, work cell control and several sections are devoted to the related topics in this chapter so a last consideration uh, in the work cell design is safety uh, so safety means of protection or human personal from harms in the around robot work cell must be provided so this is generally accomplished by means of uh, fences or barriers and by designing a safety monitoring system to interrupt the cell operation if uh, unsafe conditions are encountered so uh, these kinds of mechanisms and other issues related to safety so we will discuss all types of safety related issues uh, in next point of or last point of this chapter so these are the different considerations or different several issues that must be considered in a design of the work cell among these considerations so uh, these are the different seven consideration or different several parameters or issues that must be considered at the time of designing of work cell